So many of us, if I'm correct in the audience, are students at the moment, and we will be stepping into uh, the industry in the near future, and we will be in the industry in a few years of time. But if the question, what are the skills that really matter in the industry was asked, many of us might not have the correct answer. So if you are one of those, if you are one of those who does not know the answer, don't worry because we've got you covered in this session right now. So to tell us more about the skills, the real deal when it comes to the skills that actually matter in the industry, we have a speaker joining us and it's both speaker again. He is a senior lecturer at the Department of Industrial Management at the Faculty of Applied Sciences of Wyambar University of Sri Lanka, Dr. Asanka Dharmawansa. So ladies and gentlemen, to deliver the next speech on skills that matter in the next in the industry, please welcome on screen Dr. Asanka Dharmawansa. Dr. Dharmawansa, we are super glad to have you with us here. So the screen is yours. Okay, right. Thank you very much. <clears throat> okay, I think uh, I hope that you can uh, you can see my screen, and uh, I think you can hear my sound also, right? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for this opportunity and. Today, I'm going to discuss about these skills that matter in the industry, right? So uh, this is the content of my presentation. And so first I'm going to discuss about these skills, the why we are discussing about these skills. And the second one, the types of skills. So what are the things that we need to cover, that we need to cultivate to go to the industry and especially when we are dealing with the <clears throat> industrial matters. So what are the things that we need to cultivate and uh, finally i am going to discuss the johari window so how can we cultivate how can we improve ui skills the talents the capabilities so this is the outline so i'm going to discuss one by one initially so i'm going to show the small video clip so based on that i will uh, prepare my talk uh, give me one second i will share with the sound to know what the market actually needs, what the employers need, and we have to understand better the skill and competences that the worker do have. Having the right skills empowers each of us economically. It allows us to be more agile, flexible and resilient in the constant changing labour market. What I think is going to be needed is a joint effort from the policy side to also foster a better link between supply and demand so that on the one hand workers will, need, will be more aware of possibilities and will also be more aware of needs from the production side. But also this entails that industries and firms will need to be more explicit about their demand and support the educational and training patterns that workers will need to go through. Unfortunately, we don't know what uh, uh, will precisely what will be in high demand on the labor market in 50 years or even 20 years time. So it is important that we teach young people to be adaptable and to teach them to be adaptable, we need to teach them to learn uh, how to learn. What we do know is that having very solid foundation skills, uh, in particular uh, high levels of literacy and numeracy, have been uh, at the cornerstone uh, of uh, uh, building up new skills. We will have to train the older people because it's, it's obvious if you have graduated from university uh, 15 or 20 years ago, you had zero, zero training about uh, the internet and, uh, and the social media. The problem is that uh, the, the existing systems are doing a very, a relatively bad job in most countries at uh, um, you know, reaching the people who need uh, training the most. Okay, right. So what does it mean, right? Now you are thinking about the skills, right? Especially when we are considering this IT industry, IT field. So how can we predict the skills that you need? So the thing is that these things are rapidly changed. 
so day by day we can now we are thinking about the technology now we are thinking about the digital platform but how about the future right how can we predict it is very very difficult so did you did you identify this type of digital uh, transformation uh, before 5 years ago or 10 years ago have you identified no right that is the problem right so how can we identify the uh, skills for the future right it is very difficult to predict it's very difficult to predict that's why so it's uh, what we have to do is we have to give the training or we have to give the teaching or the uh, way you have to learn in the future how you are going to acquire the knowledge so that's what we have to focus in the uh, especially when you are going to the industry so you should know how to obtain the knowledge how to acquire these skills that is what you have to learn not the knowledge especially right we need the knowledge but the thing is that if you can obtain the knowledge if you know how to obtain the knowledge that is what we need to focus so look at this model here previously we have considered the ksc model but now we are considering the ask model what does it mean a means the attitude s means the skill and k means the knowledge so when we are preparing the curriculums when you are preparing the course programs we are considering ksc model previously but now we are focusing the ask model because we are thinking that the attitudes the skills these are very very important for the future right knowledge is also very important but more than that the attitudes skills are very very important those are coming under the main areas right so we should know the things we should uh, come up with the knowledge but the, before that we should cultivate the attitudes as well as the right skills if you cultivate the attitudes and the skills definitely you can improve the knowledge that is what we are thinking when you are preparing the program when you are preparing the curricula we are thinking about that so when you are producing the graduates we are thinking about the attitude skills and the knowledge so especially the attitudes and the skills those are very very important for the future so if you are going to the industry in the future right what do you have to learn so you should know how to acquire the knowledge so you you should uh, learn how to obtain the things how to create the things that's what you have to consider right knowledge it may be expired today we are discussing about something right but after one year after two years after five years what we are going to discuss right yeah. it's somewhat difficult to predict it's somewhat difficult to predict therefore what you have to do is you have to identify your attitudes you have to create your attitudes as well as the skills those are very very important so look at this one so this is the triangle so come up with the skills then the attitudes and the knowledge right so look at the present stage so when you look at the present stage skills then attitudes right so you can come up with the 85% so belongs to the skills and the attitudes so when you come to the knowledge that is 15% right so you can identify how important the skills are right so here they are mentioning the listening questioning communication uh, communication responsiveness different type of things coming under the skills right so what you have to do is you have to improve this type of skills when you are going to the industry if not so if you ha have the knowledge that's okay but the thing is that so you definitely you should have the skills you have to improve the skills otherwise it is somewhat difficult to uh, sustain in the industry is somewhat difficult to find a job actually right okay so then uh, what we are trying to do is what are the skills that you need to develop right so basically basically we are discussing two type of the skills right the first one is the hard skills then the second one is the soft skills right so what are the hard skills here so i have mentioned the proficiency in foreign languages a degree or cert certificate then the typing is speed then the machine operations computer programming right this type of things it is teachable right so you can identify you can uh, improve this type of hard skills very easily and we can measure it right how many languages do you know right how many computer programs you know right so how about the typing is speed right this type of things you have to improve those are hard skills and it's somewhat easy to improve right it is somewhat easy to cultivate but look at the soft skills right so we are mentioning it as a people skills or the interpersonal skills right communication flexibility leadership teamwork time management 
so what are those things right so you have to engage with the people engage with the community right so at that time definitely you have to cultivate the soft skills so if you if you don't have the soft skills then you are you are facing so many problems right even though you have the knowledge right even though you have the hard skills but if you don't have the soft skills then you are facing some some problems in the industry because the industry is looking for the people who are uh, who are engaging in the activities at the same time the people who are uh, having the soft skills hard skills as well as the knowledge all the things they are considering but especially the soft skills right okay so then I, i will come up with this one what are the hard skills according to the current situation right but today i can say these are the major areas but tomorrow we cannot say these are the major areas after five years this may be changed dramatically right therefore just i will briefly discuss about these things but so don't uh, don't consider on this so you have to obtain you have to uh, acquire some knowledge right so you should know how to obtain the knowledge that's what you have to learn right because today we have the internet we have the youtube we have the facebook all the things are available right then you can search you can learn so you need to know the mechanism right that is what you have to improve right how you are going to learn how we are going to acquire the knowledge that is what you have to learn right okay so under the hard skills cyber security you know that today we are discussing about the application development then the cloud security those are the major areas right then when we consider the cloud computing you know that one then the third one data analytics data science previously also you have discussed about the data science today previously we told that the human resource is the key resource of the organization but today we are thinking about that the information resource so we are thinking that inf information resource playing a key role in the industry today right therefore we have to focus on that one data analytics data science right then the networking and why uh, networking then the wireless then the software development this type of things can be considered as the hard skills right then uh, uh, then uh, not only that ai and machine learning so previously also we have discussed the artificial intelligence then we come up with the machine learning then now today we are discussing about the deep learning neural networks different type of mechanism different type of things right the knowledge the things are getting updated day by day so what you have to do is you have to identify this mechanism so we can say that so you have to learn the artificial intelligence you have to learn the deep learning that's true right according to the current situation but in the future it may be changed dramatically right so you should know how to identify those things so if you can identify the mechanism then it's very easy to catch the market you 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 can be uh, you should be able to identify these type of techniques then it's very easy to sustain in the industry right then the project management the programming then the it service management virtualization so previously there was a metaverse right so we have this we have done different type of projects in this metaverse right in the virtualization right so i will show you the small video clip related to the actually this is related to my project right so we have done the different type of activities in this virtual learning environment this is the 3d virtual learning environment so we this is uh, the second life the software called second life so we have uh, conducted so many experiments in this uh, virtual learning environment so this is the future right but uh, we don't know the, the maybe after 5 years after 10 years this may be changed right so what you have to do is you have to acquire the knowledge you have to acquire the skills related to these things right you should know the mechanism then if you know the mechanism then it's very easy right so here you you know that avatars are active on behalf of the human users in this 3d virtual learning environment so we have conducted so many projects in this learning environment this is the 3d virtual environment so these are the classrooms so we have engaged with other countries to do this type of projects then we come to the soft skills what are the things that we are coming under the soft skills different type of things are there but we don't have much time to discuss about the soft skills Uh, but uh, here i have mentioned few things so look at the time management right so when we are doing something so we have to go with the time 
right? So if there are some things we have to submit, so we have to submit it on time. So we have to come to the meetings on time, right? That is what the time management. So now the industry is looking for those type of things, the functionality, then the networking, right? So today when we are doing some work, we are doing the team works, not the individual work. And when we are dealing with the companies, you know that, so we are discussing about the supply chain management. So one company can survive, cannot survive in the industry, right? So we have to depend on others. So how can we depend on others based on the network? If you have kind of good network, then uh, definitely we can win the competition. If not, it's very, very difficult. So if you have the friend in another country, then you can get the support from them. So if you have some friends in another universities, then you can get the support from them. That is what the network. So you have to build the network. Right. So these type of things, these type of conferences, Congress. So why we are conducting these type of things because of the network. Right. So we have to maintain this network. If you have a good network, that is a kind of skills. If you can maintain uh, the good network system, so you have the soft skills. Then when we are considered in the teamwork. Right. So as I told you today, not the individual work. Right. All the companies are running with the teamwork because when you are running with the teamwork, they may learn so many things. And you know that, that persons are coming from different backgrounds, different backgrounds. Then definitely we have to we have to do some teamwork, some problems may be occurred, but we have to solve those things, right? The people are coming from different different backgrounds. So we have to we have to identify their characteristics. And imagine if you are the project manager, if you are the team leader, then how you are going to handle your team members? So you have to get the support from all. So you should know how to get the work done from the employees because you are the expert in the computer programming. That can be happen, right? But you have to manage your team. Then you should know the teamwork. You should handle the people, right? So definitely not only the knowledge, not only the subject knowledge, but you know how to handle the people. That is somewhat difficult, right? So you can cultivate the knowledge, the theory, theory things and the practicals, the computer programming, so anything, right? So when you read the books, when you go to the internet, when you, go, uh, when you search some things, uh, when you go to the YouTube, definitely you can learn. But how you are going to learn how to manage the people, right? By practice from your background. So you have to learn those type of things. So that is very, very difficult. So if imagine under you, you have to handle 10 employees, right? So how we are going to manage these things, right? If it is individual work, definitely you can do it. But how you are going to get the support from others, right? So you should know the mechanism, how to get the support from others, how to get the work done from others. So you have to use some kind of motivation me mechanisms, right? So you should know, you should identify the mechanisms. So anyway, the teamwork is very, very important. So you have to cultivate this type of uh, soft skills, definitely, and the creative thinking. That is what now we are discussing about the Facebook, right? Facebook just maybe five, ten, five seven years ago, right? But the social networks, we have discussed those things maybe uh, 30 years ago, 25 years ago. But we know the social, uh, social media after the Facebook. So what is that? the creative thinkers because of the creative thinkers. So if you can think in different way, that is what we are, we need. That is what the industry is looking for, right? So if you can think in a different way, out of box thinkers, so then you can become the innovators, right? So we are thinking about the Google, we are thinking about the Facebook, we are thinking about the YouTube, right? That's come with the creative thinking, right? Now I heard that. So the Japan, they are producing the, um, flying car, right? So look at that one. Why can't we think like that, right? And we have to identify the technologies with the, with the ideas, right? That is what the creative thinking. So if we are thinking like the traditional methods, so that is not the way, right? Now the things are changed rapidly. The environment is changing rapidly. So what we have to do is we have to be flexible as well as we have to uh, think in a different way, right? Look at now the COVID-19 situation. Right. So if we are, so we have to think in different way. This is a kind of innovation, right? The online platform. Otherwise, we have to go to the Colombo and we have to meet together, right? It is somewhat difficult, right? But today we have this type of platform, right? This is what the creativity. With the problems, we are we are identifying some new mechanisms, new mechanism, 
so if you uh, if you have some creative ideas then that's very very important right others may think that you may have some mad uh, mad things something like that don't worry right so if you have the confidence if you have the knowledge if you have the ability if you have the skills then you can implement the thing right so one day you will win right definitely right okay then the conflict resolution as i told you when we are working as a team definitely there are so many problems may be occurred right so you should know how to how to solve those type of problems that is what the conflict resolution right so you have to get the you have to win the heart of others right so if you manage these type of things these are very very important in the industry because today when we look at the community right there are so many degree holders right the qualified people are there right then the industry is looking for the specified people so how can we identify these specified people so if you have different type of soft skills if you have different type of qualification that is what they are looking for right today if you want to obtain a, a qualified person right degree degree holder there are so many applicants right then how can we identify the qualified persons right based on the soft skills right that's why you have to improve this type of skills otherwise it is somewhat difficult to survive in the industry it is somewhat difficult to survive in the industry not only this type of uh, soft skills the, you know that communication that is also very very important right so you have to communicate the things to your subordinate as so less so you have to get the message from your uh, top management right the communication mechanism is very important if not so that is enough to collapse your business or collapse your activities right therefore these things are very very important for your life right so what you have to do is so if you want to obtain a job right and if you want to perform your job in a proper way right so you have to balance this hard and the soft skills right so you know what are the hard skills now you know what are the soft skills so what you have to do is you have to balance those two in a proper way then so you can you can go to the employee side without any problem right without any problem right then now you know what is the importance of this model right now we are thinking about the attitudes the skills and the knowledge not the ksa model right so we are basically focused on the attitudes as well as the skills that you definitely you have to cultivate those things right knowledge we know that if you have the degree certificate we know that you have the knowledge if not you can you have the google you have the internet you have the youtube you can improve your knowledge without any problem but the thing is that how you are going to obtain the skills how you are going to improve the attitudes that is very very important that is very very important and industry is looking for the good uh, the different type of skill uh, the people who have different type of skills so industry is looking for that type of people okay finally so i just want to wind up this session with this one right okay so how we are going to identify your potentials how you are going to identify your skills that is what we need to discuss right so this is called johari window you can search it from the google so look at this one there are four components the open open self blind self then the hidden self and the unknown self so the x axis that is means known to self unknown to self that means you know you don't know then known to others unknown to others that is the y axis so that means others they know and the other one is others they don't know right open self means you know and others also know you have this type of capability you have this type of talent you have this type of skills then unknown to self and known to others that means unknown to self you don't know but others they know you have this type of presentation skills you have the writing skills you have the typing is typing skills those things you others they don't but you don't know that is what the blind right that is what the blind area then the next one is the hidden right it means known to self and unknown to others known to self you know that you have the capability you have the confidence but others they are thinking that how can you do that one right something like that right hidden self but you can do it but you can do it you have the capability you have the skills then unknown self means you also don't know others also don't know that is what the unknown self normally we are using only 25% according to this johari window we are using only 25% 
the remaining 75% we are not using. That is the problem, right? That means you have the different type of capabilities, different type of skills and attitudes. So what you have to do is you have to, you have to find those things, right? Those are hidden things, right? So you have to practice. So you have to do the work, right? Then you can identify your hidden talents, hidden skills. So then you are now you are using only 25%, the remaining 75% you can activate, then you can come up with the good, uh, uh, good uh, attitudes, good skills, good capabilities, right? Then definitely you can uh, climb your career ladder without any problem, right? So keep in mind, this is the Johari window based on that, you can think, so you can uh, identify your hidden talents. So that is my message. So you can uncover the remaining 75%, then without any problem, you can climb your career ladder for, and you can achieve your targets without any problem. So that is said. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions,